Hello, I'm Trevor. We're here. It's about 10 a.m. on the 1st of September 2018. We're here actually in terms of Victorian police districts, not in Whitechapel itself, but just over into J Division, Bethnal Green territory. And we're here in Durwood Street, pretty much around the back of Whitechapel Tube Station. And 130 years ago, yesterday morning, on the 31st of August 1888, this street would have been an absolute hive of activity with police officers and onlookers from, let's say, gruesomely interested onlookers, because the body of 43-year-old Mary Ann Nichols, Polly to her friends, has just been discovered in the roadway to the side there. As you can see, this is one of the three Jack the Ripper murder sites that has undergone a lot of change recently, still going on, Crossrail Works behind me here. Of course, the other two sites underwent their own major changes back in the last century. In fact, the only building we have remaining from 1888 on this street is the board school building you can see there. But Polly was discovered by two men on their way to work. They disagreed over whether she was still just about alive or not, but by the time J Division PC Neil arrived, she had definitely expired. She was found with two deep cuts to her throat, deep enough to almost sever the bones of her spine. Polly had been homeless for many years. She'd spent December of 1887 sleeping rough in Trafalgar Square and been arrested for her trouble. This was the reality of life for those on the bottom rung of the Victorian social ladder. At about 1.30am that morning, she'd been thrown out of her common lodging house. She didn't have the fourpence for a bed. She met a friend shortly after and told her she'd already earned her DOS money, almost undoubtedly through casual prostitution that many of these women had to resort to. She'd already earned that money three times, but had drunk it all. Never mind, she said, look what a jolly bonnet I've got. I'll soon make some more. She made her way down Whitechapel Road and then, as we now know, found her way sadly into that roadway. We can't get quite down to the murder site at the moment because, as I say, of these crossrail works, but the murder site would have been just about this side of that blue hoarding. You've definitely a violent area, but this was something new violent crime discovered in the early hours of the morning in what was then, as now really, despite the building worker, quite a quiet thoroughfare. But actually, there was even worse to come, because when the police took the body to the mortuary, they realised the men who found Polly had rearranged her skirts for reasons of decency. What they had obscured in doing so was a large abdominal wound, so large in fact that when they moved her over onto the mortuary table, her bowels spilled out. Over the next 10 weeks, this area was to become world famous, or should we say infamous. This was the beginning of 10 weeks that has brought tourists to this site ever since. This was the beginning of the Autumn of Terror. <laughs>